Hello guys, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome to our Tech Therapy CCN series. This is the final video about Cisco Packet Tracer and today we are going to learn how to simulate a packet by a simple, also a complex PDU. How to simulate traffic by using simple PDU or complex PDU packet in the Cisco Packet Tracer. So in our last video we implement a simple network topology by using three switches, one end device and one router and we also implement cabling we identify all the devices uniquely and now we are going to use simple PDU packet so before we going to simulate a packet we have to configure IPs for devices like end device and the router we don't have to configure IP for switches because we all know switches are layer 2 device so switches don't need need a IP but router is a layer 3 device if a router have four interfaces all interfaces create a different different network but in this network we only use one interface for router 1 gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 so we only need to configure IP for this interface only not other interface and remember that we already start this interface in our second video so this is currently active interface we only need to configure IP so as our previous plan we are going to configure this network 192.168.100.0.24 subnet and our router will get 100.1 IP our end PC PC1 configured by 100.2 IP so let's do it so I am going to router command line interface I am now in user mode I type enable going to privilege mode then I type configure terminal then press enter so I am now in global config mode then I type the interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 then press enter now I am in sub config mode in this mode I can assign the IP for the gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 so I type IP address then the IP itself 192.168.100.1 192.168.100.1 and the subnet should be 255.255.255.0 then press enter IP configuration done how can we ensure that so I press and not exit because I want to go directly in the privilege mode not in the global configuration mode so I press enter now I am directly in the privilege mode so I use the show IP interface brief command okay then press enter now you see my interface is 0 0 0 and here it is so our router interface IP configuration done now we are going to configure our PC IP 100.2 so I am going to PC1 and here is a config tab in the first Ethernet in the IP address field I assign the IP 192.168.100.2 and the subnet should be 255.255.255.0 my IP assigned done now I am going to desktop tab then command prompt now I type IP config to show the PC IP itself I assign the IP successfully 192.168.100.2 now I am going to do the most exciting part ping the PC1 to router 1 ping 192.168.100.1 which is router interface IP and ping done very successfully so if I going to router 1 and ping the 192.168.100.1 sorry 2 that means the PC1 then it is also success so as you and me learning more and more about Cisco Packet Tracer with this hands on practice series we build a small network topology so far also configure the IP ping the both devices from each other end now I am going to save the project which is very important file and the save I am going to save this in the desktop and I give a name first network topology then it will be saved in the .pkt file format then save so our basic connectivity done so now what we are going to do yes we are going to do actually the most important and 
exciting part the simulation part in this simulation button if you click once it will bring a panel and here you see lots of protocol we are not going to use all those protocol if you click show all none button once then it will be gone that means there there is no protocol at the moment and if you click again it will bring all those protocol by default but we are going to use only one single protocol show all none click again and edit filters and in this list you see there are so many IP version 4 protocols there are IP version 6 protocols and also there is a miscellaneous protocols you can use to see a traffic simulation so we are going to use only one single protocol which is the first IP version 4 protocol named ICMP you know a uh, few minutes ago we just checked the ping which is actually ICMP again we use the ICMP now you see here is only ICMP showing now you using this button add simple PDU it is a simple envelope icon you see the acronym for PDU is protocol data unit and there is another complex PDU and now we are going to use simple PDU so click on it I got envelope so I just put the envelope in the PC one in router one it is mean I'm going to send the packet frame from PC one to router one so I can use the whole play button or one by one sending button so for better understanding I use this button you see the packet is moving if you click on the envelope double then you see the actual packet so another benefit of using this kind of tools is that you can understand how the network devices work in different layer in the OSI model you see the PC1 send a packet to access switch if you click on the envelope right now you see the frame or data packet just going to PC1 to access switch then it is a unicast types frame that means the one to one types packet communication then if you click the next layer so the switch going to flood the frame to all the ports it have okay now I'm going to next button again and you see access switch just choose to code 2 rather than core 1 because previously we all already discussed that there is a spanning tree protocol which is blocking the second way for a switch to flooding the frame so access switch can send the frame to core 1 it's sending the code 2 because there is a spanning tree protocol which is blocking the frame if you click here see it's in progress if you click again then the packet sending to code 2 to core 1 then again core 1 to final destination router 1 and it is still showing the in progress because uh, router 1 just received the data and it's de encapsulate the data because it's sending by encapsulating system and once it's get the data then router 1 will send the ICMP reply again I press the next button then again next button so finally packet traveling successful and connection is established now so uh, you can reset the simulation again uh, it's happening again you can filter out and delete this event so let's try with another protocol called ARP so what is ARP actually ARP is a address resolution protocol a system to learn physical address or MAC address not the IP address if PC1 try to reach another device then PC1 need to learn the physical address for that device how can we use the R protocol simply you have to go to the desktop then command line and you can ping a device like 192.168.100.100 uh, you know we don't have any 100 IP device in our network topology so what happen let's see if the PC1 ping this unauthorized or unknown device see this packet is ready for reaching out that device let's see what happen the PC1 sender access switch the packet then double click on it let's see this is actually a broadcast types packet which using ARP protocol that means access switch broadcast this packet every single way to learn that device MAC address and if that device does not belong in this network then let's see what happened 
it just got touched and marked the cross so packet fails and PC1 did not find the device looking for so this is the way we can simulate our packet with this simple PDU let's see how to do with the complex PDU in the real or production environment there are so many complex protocol like HTTP, HTTPS, DNS, FTP using right so let's see how complex protocol working in the environment we are going to deploy another server in our network topology let's select the end device then I choose the server and I put it here and I'm going to cabling and you know this should be the state row for the switch to server then set an IP different IP you know uh, we have a 100.1 device and 100.2 device so we are going to another server here so we uh, will identify it as a uh, 100.3 IP so here we are going to config tab then interface to first ethernet then I put the IP for our web server and you know uh, we have already two device with the 100.2 and 100.1 IP in this network so we using an IP 192.168.100.3 and subnet always should be the same then using the command line IP config to ensure that the IP successfully done 100.3 then let's ping the PC1 192.168.100.2 you see connection is established now uh, we are going to simulate our complex PC packet before that we are going to filter out our protocol this time we using HTTP because we implement this server as a web server and you know web server always use HTTP and HTTPS which means hypertext transfer protocol the port number is 80 and 443 let's bring the complex PDU and in the PC one here is a, another option HTTP select then destination so we can choose the destination by clicking in server one IP already in here but this is the not actually a usual process when a user accessing a web server typically use a web browser like Chrome or Firefox right so let's do that this way I just deselecting it complex video deselect again so now I'm going to PC one in the desktop tab and here is a web browser option and in this URL section I'm going to type HTTP and the IP for the web server because uh, I don't have any DNS server in my network right now so there is a no domain name like w, uh, Cisco com or something like that so I have only the IP so I'm going to put my IP here 192.168. 100.3 then click the go button now I start up my simulation here the packet is ready to go for server 1 let's see what happens in the next step uh, it's now in the access switch come forward then see code 2 to server 1 that means the packet is now in the server 1 or web server area let's see what happened there by double click in the packet in this layer 4 the TCP port 1027 is a PC1 port and the destination port is 80 for the web server and the layer 3 uh, it is a source address which is a PC1 address and this is the web server address 100.3 and and what happened in the sending packet which will be sent by web server to PC1 source port and it is now destination port and the also the IP packet also exchange so this is the way our web server work and our network traffic just going to one device to another device I hope you guys understand the whole things